Don't throw your used juice cartons away, but instead turn them into printing plates. Good morning and welcome to the Virtual Village Hall. I'm Rachel from I Printed That, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a printing technique called dry point etching. All the materials and equipment are listed in the caption above, in the video caption, um, but there's a good chance you've already got lots of the equipment already. For example, an empty juice carton, a spoon, an old toothbrush, that sort of thing. Um, I would suggest that the only thing that you may need to go out and buy for this session is the ink. It's a specialist ink called Intaglio printing. Oh, show there, <laughs> Intaglio printing. Or you can also, uh, Intaglio printing ink, or you can also use um, block printing ink or lino cut ink. So I would suggest that's probably the only thing you need to buy. Um, there's a good chance you've got everything else. So what I'm gonna do is pop you down and show you how it works. So the first thing that we need to do is to put our paper into water because for this technique, it's the damp paper that draws out the ink from our printing plate. So just I've got a just a container here. It's just a sort of a canteen of water that's just bigger than my paper, just cold water. I'm going to pop my paper in there and leave that to soak while I do the rest. So I put that to one side. Then I need my design. So spring is definitely on the way. The daffodils are in the shops. Um, the daffodils are in bud in my garden and also the snowdrops are well and truly out. So I'm going to base this on a snowdrop design today, just a single stem in a nice Victorian bottle. So I've got my design. I make sure that my design is no bigger than the piece of Tetra Pak that I'm using. Now when you've got your Tetra Pak, if you open it up completely, you might see that there are some um, creases where the bend of the box was. You might also have some creases as you were cleaning it and drying it out. So I, so they will show up onto your print. So either use them in your print, embrace them, or just go for a very clean piece if that's what you're after. But, but just make sure that it's not smaller than your actual design. So with my design ready, um, I'm going to take just a piece of tracing paper or you can use just grease proof paper from a roll of baking paper. And the image that needs to go onto the plate needs to be in reverse. So what I'm going to do is trace it and then transfer it to my Tetra Pak. So I'm just using an HB pencil. and tracing my design. So a nice simple design, have it on a table and then I just want a slight shadow okay now it's time to transfer the image onto our Tetra Pak, the inside of our Tetra Pak and just quite lightly, I'm just going to go over the back of the design. So I've, as you can see, I've turned it so that the pencil is facing down onto my Tetra Pak. And this will give you a reverse image onto here because when it prints, it will then be the right way around. This is especially important if you've chosen to do text for your design. And don't rub too hard because we don't really want to make any dents in the Tetra Pak just yet. So 
and while you're doing this you can start thinking about where you want the ink to show up on your design so I'm using black ink on white paper so I'll refer to black um, black and white so the white will be the um, any bits that we don't take out and the black bits will be any bits where we scratch out so I want to have a black background so that it really shows up the gorgeous white of the snowdrops so that they really pop I want to give the glass of an old-fashioned look so I'm going to be scratching into that and then um, I'll be keeping most of this clear so that the the, the snowdrop really pops okay, I think that's good okay so I've got a nice faint line there just um, you might just be able to see that I can I can see that well myself and um, if you've done it you should be able to see it quite well and then we need to start with just with a scalpel or with a craft knife we want to start taking out all the bits that we want black so you as you start cutting you could try it on a practice piece first if I show you actually on a practice piece um, if you just score the foil so don't cut all the way through you're just scoring the top layer and then very simply just use the edge the tip of the knife just to take away a little edge oh, I've got very short nails today <laughs> there we go and that will remove the foil leaving the cardboard and it's the cardboard that takes up the ink and then makes the print onto our damp paper so that's what we're looking to do so I'm going to take out all this background first so just scoring the foil around the bottle and I'm just going to take it off in pieces so I can score right up to the top again use my craft knife comes off in one nice easy satisfying bit like taking wallpaper off So if you're just joining us today, we're doing something called dry point etching and we're using just the inside of an old juice carton, cleaned and dried. And we've transferred our image and now I'm just taking off areas where I want printed. Okay, so now this sounds a little bit more tricky. more delicate so just take time Going all the way around with the craft knife. So 
So, and then once again, I'm just going to take this off in sections. Just carefully so that I don't remove any of this thin layer that's, the, the, that's made the stem. I've got to go very careful here. I wish I had longer nails today. And once our printing plate's done and we've printed, all we need to do is just ink it up and use it again and again. So you might like to print some cards might like to print some, just do some prints and frame them for, for presents for friends. And please feel free to share this to any groups that you're, any craft groups that you're in or maybe recycling groups. You might want to sort of show how you can repurpose, reuse a Tetra pack. Just hit the share button, share it with your friends. Okay, make sure that bit's, I'm gonna take that one off just in a small bit there. There we go. That one's a little precarious there. But just take your time. Make sure I've scored that enough. Okay, a couple more bits and then I can breathe. Okay, there we are. So that's the main part cut out. And now what I want to do is to add a little bit of detail, add a little bit of depth and some shadow. So now what I want to do, just I can use either my craft knife, um, just the very tip of it to scratch into the foil. And remember where you scratch into the foil, that's gonna pick up on the ink. So, that, so this will print into black. So use the tip or you can use um, sort of an etching tool if you've got one. So I'm just going to add some detail now. And where I go into the cardboard, to take the cardboard away, that will be very dark. And where I just make scratches, that'll be a bit more sort of on the grey side. So you get some really great tones.
going to start into the actual flower itself. So those lines that I drew in pencil, I'm going over just with my craft knife. I just need to cut into that a bit more. That's that bit, didn't I? <laughs> there it can come out. And that looks a bit sharp, so I'm just going to round that off. Add just a bit of detail to the leaf, and now onto the bottle. So I want to differentiate where the water is to the background, and my background's black, so I'm going to just add some scratches into the top part of the bottle. Let's put the stem in first. Mm. And because our bottle is curved here, I'm just adding as I put my scratches in, I'm making sure that they go the shape of the bottle to give the effect that it's rounded. And I want the effect of water here. So what I'm going to do is just very slightly just crinkle this up, just making a few creases in the foil. With our plate all cut and scratched into, etched into, I'm now going to ink it up and we can print. So for this it can get a little bit messy, so I'd suggest using um, a piece of paper underneath, a piece of scrap paper, some newspaper and also a pair of gloves. This is where we bring our ink in. Now I'd suggest using a toothbrush for this, but I, this morning I seem to have mislaid the toothbrush that I normally use um, and I wasn't prepared to use my own. So if you haven't got a toothbrush, you can use um, a stiff bristled paintbrush. That will work as well. 
And I always find it's a bit clumsy with uh, gloves, but but go with it. So I'm just going to dab the ink all over. So dab it in, make sure it gets into all that cardboard that we've exposed. Then it seems slightly counterproductive, but we want to start taking the ink off. So I start just by using a spare bit from the Tetra Pack. And that's going to reveal the plate underneath. you've got most of the ink off you can then start going into all the, the foil bits um, and just to highlight them so I'm going to take my gloves off for this and I'm just going so I don't get any fingerprints on my plate I'm very messy anyway so I'm sure I will end up getting covered in ink um, I'm just going to use a cotton bud just to take away the ink that's on the parts I want printing um, printed white. Now I've just got a some water next to me, so I can just use that to highlight. And then I go in with a dry cotton bud to take that off. I want the stem to stand out, but not as much as the actual petals. So I'm just going over very lightly with that. I want the bottle to have the background so it's see-through, transparent. And then I've just got sort of an old rag here that I'm going to go into the bottle with and then along the bottom. Now I don't want this completely clear. I don't want it to compete against the white with the petals so I'm just leaving a slight residue of ink on the basic bottom okay that looks about done it's now time to print so we can put our lids on our ink 
So let me clean up my hands slightly. Yeah, so I can start touching the paper. Put that to one side. And we can take our paper that's been soaking out of this container. And using a clean cloth, this might not be very clean, but it is, it's just stained. I'm just going to very lightly pat that because I want to take, I want to take sort of the glisten off of it so that when we do our print, it doesn't run too much. Then we pop our plate so it's facing up. Put our paper on top. If you want it exactly the, the middle, then I'd suggest putting sort of registration lines so you know where that's going to be. And then using the back of a spoon, a tape metal spoon, a tablespoon is perfect for this. You can start rubbing all over the back of the paper, and you'll probably start seeing there's a shadow forming. So that's the paper drawing out all the ink from where the cardboard and the scratches, the cardboard was revealed and the scratches in our snowdrop design were. So be quite meth methodical about this. So make sure you get every single piece. And the effect that this is going to give us is going to be sort of a almost, almost an, an old fashioned sort of etching print. And because we're not using a press, obviously we're not going to get a perfect print, um, but it's got a certain amount of charm to it, I think. I hope you'll agree. Just gonna have a little peek, see how it's getting on. Yeah, that's quite good. So I've just got a little bit more down here. And let's have a little peek, see how the flower itself is shaping up. It's quite nice. I've just got I'll just go into it a little bit more. Okay, let's reveal the print. Okay, so there we have a dry point etching of a snowdrop. The plate itself is beautiful. The etching, the print gives us uh, these real atmospheric tones and I think they work beautifully. So this plate can be used again and again. All I need to do is just re-ink it, do exactly as we did, taking off um, any parts that you want highlighted, and that can be printed um, lots of times before the foil will start, just, just breaking down. And um, yeah, print lots of cards, have lots of fun with it, do lots of experiments. So I hope that's um, encouraged you to have um, a route around in your recycling. Um, any Tetra packs that you are going to throw away, keep them, um, just wash them out, make sure they're nice and dry, and then you can make some printing plates. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's been a pleasure to show you that technique. Um, and I do look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.